Yeah, it's a two-day event as well, which is great. I'm really excited for it. Um, I'm going to hit this button. <laughs> Got it. I was going to say, he has a remote for that. Oh, you have a remote? Yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> oh, my God. You didn't tell me that. But we'll see How do you think I've been turning it on? I don't know, dude. <laughs> You're I got fired uh, already. Dang. But yeah, we'll see if uh, Meek has the remote to win this matchup here with a little uh, easy that'd, win button. That'd be nice because I played yeah. this matchup earlier and it's, it's pretty difficult as a Falcon. Yeah. But the thing is, with Falcon itself, such an explosive character can take a stock at any moment. So, and Meek, oh, yeah. one of those players that can take your stock at any moment. Yeah, he definitely has an explosive play style with Falcon. If he gets you going, he's going to take you for a big ride. Yeah, nice, nice, nice ride. But here we go. Low one, finding some of that decent damage off the start. But Meek found his way in with some nice short hop Nairis initially. And I like the ideas, but uh-oh. I'll try and give him that uh, clap clap there at the, the two frame. Stand. Yeah, he's gonna up air that banana. He's like, yeah, I'm not having any of that banana. And get the up air string. Jeez. Three in a row. He was going for four, but. Yeah. Low one able to find that opening and get out of that situation. And every time Meek's gotten the banana, he's like, you know what? I don't even want to risk throwing it back at you. I'm just getting this off the stage. Yeah, you. if you don't get the banana practice, uh, honestly, getting rid of it sometimes is the best option. And we've been seeing Meek go for that a lot. And right now, this is where it gets really, really tough as a Falcon, though, at this ledge. Yeah. When uh, uh, Diddy has banana in hand or at the, the side, ooh, little little miss there from low one though. He didn't really convert too well. Yeah, I think he might have been expecting Meek to hang there for a little bit, so he wasn't ready to react instantly to his option that he chose. 141 though. This is one up smash away. He doesn't even need the down tilt. Yeah, with that banana there to the right of him, there wasn't really anywhere safe for Meek to land at that point. I think if Meek waits a little bit there and possibly chills for the Smash Bowl platform, that could have been really useful for him. Yep. But at the same time, uh, it's very, very difficult oh to get God. back to stage. And slipping right behind him, low one, not necessarily converting there. And Meek's trying to find this dash grab. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> Even, oh, wow, low one's like, oh, oh he's no. like, yo, what's up? And the yo, ball. what's up? Jeez. Oh, my God. And Meek's alive. Like, Meek makes it back. Meek apparently pranked a Fatality Falcon for some good Falcon recovery. Yeah, there. my God. Got to pray to those Falcon gods sometimes. He just <laughs> keeps throwing it off the side. But now, honestly, this game's like not out of reach for Meek. If he could secure this stock, this game is, in my opinion, very close to even. Yeah, and that's really going to be the big thing for him right now, getting rid of this stock, because if he can keep himself at this percent, he'll have a good amount of rage to work with once Diddy gets back and maybe lands one or two hits. But with that much rage on Diddy, he's in a precarious situation where he might die a little bit earlier. Yeah, he might die instead of like dying at like 130 to the down tilt up smash. It might be a solid 110. Yeah. So definitely going to want to keep control of the stage here and just play it as safe as possible to keep the stock. Another issue, another thing Alone really likes to do in this match. Oh, there's the reverse no. up B and that's <laughs> hey. the stock. Uh, one thing that Low One loves to do in this matchup as well is put that banana in front of him, and Falcons love to jab, man. But what happens is when you jab, you pick up the banana instead, and he punishes really, really hard. Yeah, uh, and on top of that, if you try and do a run through too, that banana will just stop you in your track. So it really limits your approach options on the ground. 140, but Falcon with rage, nothing to mess with. But Low One really does have the advantage right now. Really taking it slow, taking his time. Great edge cancel. Ooh, that was nice. Yeah, great avoidance for both players, but Low One with that. Uh, Fresh, no rage, up throw into up air. Yeah, that's. I remember back in the day, uh, that was a lot better. Still not too bad right now, yeah. though. Especially when it's fresh and not uh, completely not stale. Yeah, I mean, if you have a fresh up air with Diddy, it's a scary it's, move still. It's very, very scary. So we're going to game two here. But game one, I mean, low one had it dominant. He down aired yeah. him. He, he had him dead to rights. And he's yep. like, well, I should probably just recover, even though he had two stocks. Yep. Allowed Meek to live and made a little closer than what he probably wanted, but yeah. still looked pretty dominant. Lilat. Yeah, I can respect this stage choice, to be honest, because it does give him a few more options for getting around that banana and to, around that round game that low one likes. Uh, I was talking to low one earlier because I've never, I don't play this matchup too often. I play Felker as well. And uh, I played him in bracket. He was kind of talking. I'm like, well, what, what, you know, what does Falcon really do here? He's like, you just have to stop the aerial options. You got to stuff them out. Yeah. When you start doing that, a lot of uh, Diddy's play becomes really linear. Yeah. Um, and it's just very difficult. So he says a lot of Falcons love to just go for the up airs, just just continuously to stuff out a lot of the options. And I mean, you can't blame him for doing that because up air is such a great move. I mean, look how much space that covers. 
ton of space, sets you up for combo, sets yep. up for another up air. And platform's really close to the ground, so it's hard to avoid those up Bs through the platform. Yeah, that's another thing, too, you see a lot from the Good Falcons, is they'll up B through the platform, get that solid 18%. Wow. <laughs> that banana <laughs> save. <laughs> <laughs> Made him slip in the middle of his Jeez. forward smash. How dare him. Oh! It didn't go through the first time, but the second time, let me tell you something. He uh, That is painful to watch. He I mean, got you got that flaming elbow in the spine like that? Ugh. Jeez. I don't think uh, any amount of health care is going to cover that one. No. No, sadly not. Oh, but the down smash, cleaning up wow. the stock real quick. And that looked like a situation where Meeks might just be fine below one converting and finding that stock. Yeah, and I mean, with that extra angle that the stage gives that down tilt, it makes it a lot harder to get the angle you need to land on that edge. Ooh, gonna jab the banana and low one punishes off of that. Little small things like that. I love seeing that. Like forcing the banana into a uh, peculiar spot where Meek's not expecting it, and he hits it, and then low one can get a punish because he either grabs it or gets stuck in delay. Yep. Look for the pivot grab though, not gonna come through, and low one starting to run away with the stock. Yeah, this is where it's gonna start getting dangerous for Meek because low one's starting to get the rhythm on this stage and how to get in on Meek. So if Meek can't find a way around low one's defensive game here, it's going to be a bad situation. Wow. I like how Meek's sticking to his game plan with the banana. So he's uh, definitely consistently just throwing him off stage, not really giving up on that. And, uh, you know, a lot of people in this situation where they're kind of getting down, they might be like, well, maybe if I mix it up a little bit. But he has a game plan, and he is sticking to it. Yep. This is where it's going to start getting a little risky because these are the setups where you can see that knee coming out. Yeah, knee right now would just destroy low on stock by anywhere close to the ledge. Yeah, and with this much rage, too, mm -hmm. I mean, you're going to see that monkey get erased. But at the other hand, uh, Meek is getting slowly but surely closer to that down tilt up smash. Okay, tried to bait him in. Oh. oh! He had that banana right there, so he knew if he tried to do some sort of dashing option, he'd just slide right into that banana. Here we go. This is the scary moment by the ledge, those back airs. But when able to find his way back to the ground here, so he's got to watch out for these back airs because that is going to be really powerful. Especially by the ledge, this would be a stock, and the game is basically even down the down tilt. Woo! Man. He found that kill. Yeah. Didn't even need the back air. Able to cover that landing option that Lowen was trying to use to get back to the stage and not have to worry about the ledge, but that down tilt just covered so much space that there wasn't really anything that Lowen could do at that point. Can never count Falcon out, man. Yeah. Can't do it. It's one of those characters. Uh, so we are going to game three now, and I know earlier, the two seasons ago, that Lowen had a little bit of issues with Meek Falcon, and he says he hasn't lost to a Falcon in like six months now. Yeah. So. I wonder if that's because of Diddy. Yeah, I think honestly it is. Like you don't see him switching to Luigi right now. He, yeah. he doesn't want to play it against the Falcon matchup. Yeah. Great jabs. I mean, as much as it saddens me, I think he may be slowly becoming a Diddy, a Diddy main. main. Yeah. Yep. I mean, no. that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I was about to say, you're not going to do this man like that. Come it's on. not even like low one <laughs> shielding. He's like, what you doing, spot dodge? <laughs> I mean, that's almost as bad as Lowen going for the down tilt at the edges of Luigi. Oh, right. Oh, my God, the up airs, wow. though. What was that, 70% wow. like off up airs? Yeah. I that mean, that thing is so stale now, but it's great because if he up airs off a stale yeah. up air to knees, it's going to be more effective. Yeah, so, uh, Phantom and City. Yep, yep, <laughs> agreed. Land on that platform, you just keep getting hit by him. Wow. Meek has really turned on the gas this game. Yeah. He is just running over low one right now. Ooh, great options at the ledge. Looking for that down tilt that worked so well for him last game to secure that second stock. Uh, didn't get it, and he rolls right back on because that banana landed on that platform. Yep. And you see Lil One shaking his head a little bit. He's like, okay, okay. Like, I'm going to be just fine. I just need center stage. And he just up airs the banana. He's like, yo, you ain't having that. Yeah. I do kind of like that Meek's kind of playing it a little further away when Lil One's trying to recover back on the stage because you see him keep throwing out those options that will cover the monkey flip. Because he knows that even if low one doesn't monkey flip, he's not going to be in that bad of a situation. But catching that get up with the down tilt and Meek looking really strong this game three. Meek looking really strong. Low one looking a little flustered as well. He lifted his leg, he shook his head, and he's looking around. And uh, yep. you can tell he's a little flustered. And he's had issues with Meek in wow. the past. And that platform coming in handy for Meek. Hashtag get rid of Town of City. Yeah, you know, it's more jank than anything, right? Yep. Okay, the up air now not allowing low one just to land and. Meek with full control. And not just that, but a good amount of rage here. So it's definitely going to be a scary situation. I thought we might see the uh, possible down air there, the up tilt. Just try to end this game real quick for Meek, but he finds oh. the F smash. Almost killing from that point with that much rage. That is ridiculous. It's a very strong move. It's a little committal, but it, man, is it good if it connects? Oh, yeah, there is no doubt about that. Falcon is one of those high risk, high reward characters. 
Oh, but there is the up smash, and that's something that, uh, you know, Low One himself kind of brings over from his Luigi. Is he doesn't necessarily just fish for down tilts. If he knows you use double jump, he will just try to up smash underneath you. Yep. Because, I mean, if you need to get through it, you're going to have to air dive into the ground at that point. And that sucks, because that leads to down tilt up smash. <laughs> yep. But right now, Low One's sitting at 99% and only 5% on me here, so Low One's definitely got an uphill battle if he wants to win this set. I mean... Yeah, I mean, converts one of his stronger options. It might just be a kill by the ledge, especially that down tilt. We see him using that a lot. It's been very, very effective. Nice. More jabs. Yeah. Why not? You know, keep him off stage. Eventually, you might get this back air, this down tilt. Jeez. Oh, that pivot grab was insane. I mean, just his patience on waiting out these options from low one More jabs. is really doing wonders for me. More jabs. Look at, <laughs> Look at that. Just like, you know what? Let me start up this jab in preparation for you rolling it. You think he'll jab him again? No. Oh, he oh. went for the grab. The back throw probably would get he it. He knew he was coming down like that, and he almost had it. Meek is entirely inside Low One's head right now. Because, I mean, like, the past five or six options from Low One, Meek has been ready for. And now Low One back on the stage. So for a second, he does get a grab of his own. He might be looking for that gimp. Yeah, he needs yeah. it. Oh, look for the ledge mm. trump. But Low One back on stage and in a favorable position. It was yeah. a very tense moment. Oh, but is that the fourth throw? No, no, that's not going to do it. He is going to live, 163. Oh, barely made it back to stage. The barely barrels. You don't want to get jabbed right now. Fourth throw might just do it, and that's did, the stock. Did that shield movement put him in range of grab? I think so. Wow. That is really unfortunate. A great play from Meek, though. Because, I mean, just his edge guarding play, keeping low 